When is it time to get a divorce? Here's my advice, take it or leave it. Question number one, are they abusive? Physical, emotional, sexual, financial? If they're abusing you and you are not abusing them in any one of those ways, and they're not willing to get help, they're not willing to see a therapist, a counselor, they're not willing to read a book with you or any of these kinds of things, get a divorce. It's not gonna get better, they're not gonna change, you're gonna live with them for a very long time and be very, very miserable for that entire time. Now, if there are one of these categories uh, that maybe they've screwed up in and otherwise they're a great person and they're willing to get help, maybe it's got a chance, it might be able to work out but the abuse has to stop. If it doesn't stop and you're not abusing them back in any way, it's not gonna work out. I'll just say from experience, I've worked with a lot of people who have been in marriages where their partner is abusive in some way and they're not willing to go get any help. They're not willing to see a therapist or a counselor or anybody read books or anything on this sort of thing. Um, it never, never gets better. It just stays abusive the whole time. And I would say just get out, get the heck away from somebody. Uh, you deserve to be with somebody who's not abusing you. Uh, if you're not abusing them, they're abusing you, it's not going to work out. Now, if you're both abusing each other, you might be well matched for each other. But if, if the abuse is one-sided, get the heck out of there. Another category I would say is in cases of drug or alcohol addiction. If you're married to somebody who's an alcoholic and you are not an alcoholic or you're not a, you, you know, using drugs, just they are, and they're willing to go get help for it, they're trying to actively get help, it might actually work out. I have seen marriages work out that are like this. They're going, they're getting help, they're trying to get treatment, they're, they're recognizing they're, they have a problem, they're, they're working on it. But if they're an alcoholic or a drug addict and they're just unwilling to get any help at all, just get the heck out of there. If you're not a, a, an alcoholic or a drug addict, if you are an alcoholic and a drug addict and so are they, you guys might be well matched for each other. But if it's one-sided like this and they're not willing to get any help at all, just get out. You're going to be with this person for decades. They're going to ruin your life. They're going to ruin their life. You're just going to slowly watch them kill themselves and die. And it's going to be a horrible, horrible thing. And they're not going to get any, any better. The vast majority of the time. Are there exceptions to this? Maybe very, very rarely. And lastly, are they neglectful? Now, what I mean by neglectful is they are not providing anything for the household. They are not cleaning the household. They are not taking care of the kids in any, any of these kinds of ways. And they're not willing to work with you on this at all. And, um, and you are uh, providing things in the house. Either you're working, providing the job, or you're providing for the kids in some way. You're cleaning the house, doing these kinds of things. So it's very one-sided, and they're not willing to get any help at all to resolve this, not willing to talk about this, to work on this at all. And they're basically sitting at house doing nothing other than maybe smoking weed and playing video games all day. Get the heck out. This is not going to work out. This is, this is a one-sided relationship. You're not going to be happy. You're going to be with this person for a very long time and you're gonna be miserable for the entire time, just get a divorce. They can go find somebody else who wants to be lazy and do nothing, um, but it's, it doesn't need to be you. Now, if both of you are lazy and are doing nothing, well, then maybe you're very well matched for each other. And lastly, and this is a hard one, because I would say um, we talked about these different categories, this person being abusive, a person being neglectful, a person being addicted. If a person has multiple of these categories, I mean, they're like physically abusive, sexually abusive, verbally abusive, uh, financially abusive, they're addicted to alcohol, they're addicted to drugs, they're also neglectful, they're not providing things, or any combination of any of those, even if they are getting help, even if they're going off to, to get help, and you're not any of these things back to them, you're not abusive to them in any way, you're not addicted in any way, you're not doing any of these things, in any way, you guys are not well matched. They can go find somebody else who has... Um, these problems uh, and uh, that this is not an equal relationship. Abusive people can go and marry someone else who's abusive. They can be well matched with somebody else who is abusive in some way, addicted, abusive, neglectful. Now, maybe if it's just in one way and they're seeking help, that might be surmountable. But if it's in multiple ways, even if they're seeking help, this is not an equal relationship. I do not predict it working out for, for you at all. I would advise getting a divorce. Go find somebody who's not abusing you or addicted. Go find somebody who's more like you.